Loud noises! I'll use my big boy voice. <laughs> Okay, so Jim seasoned the meat. I cut up the potatoes and put them in the oven. The next stop is for the meat to get on the grill. We're gonna sear it real quick, just about a minute or so on each side before it goes in the oven. That way it doesn't get too juicy and mess up the puff pastry that's gonna go on the outside while it's in the oven. So now we're heading to the grill. Okay, we just seared our meat and brought it back in. This next step is not very complicated, but it's very detailed. So I'm gonna let Jim explain it to you. Essentially what you wanna do is layer out prosciutto uh, before you put the meat in there and you're going to be adding a topping, which is a French uh, duck cell. It's essentially uh, cooked down mushrooms along with some garlic and shallots and it forms like a paste. But you put that in there and you use the prosciutto to seal in the meat and keep the juices for making the puff pastry soggy at the end. Okay, before we wrap up the meat, we are going to season it with mustard. You can use any kind, but we are using grape propon. <laughs> and you're gonna put about two teaspoons on each piece of meat or one piece of meat and rub it on there. It kind of just offsets the flavor, gives it more tang, because there's a lot of mushrooms that make it musky. So it's just a good balance of flavors. Perfect. Do it all up, doop doop a doo it all up. Now we have a pastry set out. We let these chill in the fridge for just a couple minutes to set. Now we're going to roll them out and put the puff pastry around the outside. Okay, now we're putting an egg wash on these. Next stop is gonna be the oven. It's gonna go at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then we're gonna drop the heat down to 350 degrees for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. Check the temperature. We want it to be at a nice medium rare to rare. We're gonna let it rest once it comes out of the oven and it'll bring it to a medium temperature. The wine that we're pairing with our feast tonight is the Yano Estacado Tempranillo. It's a nice red wine. It's got hints of mocha, plum, cranberry, and vanilla, and it pairs very well with any kind of red meat. And elk is just a nice, lean, red meat. So it ought to bring out the bold flavors of the meat and wash it down real good. All right, are y'all ready? I'm ready. We are having some Elk Wellington, or as we like to call it, Elk uh, Warrington for the Warrens. It is early deer season here in Texas, and we are celebrating with a great meal and some wine. So cheers to the joy of the hunt. Cheers. Thank you, James. Mm. Mm. Dig in. Mm. Yeah, That's it is really good. Me. You can use any kind. We're using, what is it called? The wine we are pairing with, I should have gotten something better than a butter knife though. 